hello welcome to this amazing community if you are seeing this video for the first time make sure you click on the subscription button and like this video okay guys here are the five biggest financial thieves i wish i knew earlier it's so disheartening like you know there are some things you wish you knew earlier maybe your life would have been better or your life would have been more amazing or you would have thank yourself for making the decision a very long time ago but unfortunately most of us are deprived of this information and we mostly learn it in our later stage in life so that's why i'm here to share with you some tips i'm just learning in which i wish i could have learned long time ago stay with me guys make sure you watch this video till the end stay with me let's go when I say financial tips, I'm talking about the tips that can make you actually financially successful. I mean, that will make you financially literate. You know, some people actually go to school, but they are financially literate. You can go to school, you can be a bookwormer, you can be professionally successful, but still be a financial literate. There are a lot of people out there. Because if not, how can we have a lot of distinction students out there? You know, I mean first class students and still find it difficult to make a living, still find it difficult to live a satiable life, still find it difficult to live their dream life. And you're a distinction student. Being a distinction student means you actually know almost what other student doesn't know. That is why I'm trying to distinguish between a you know between when a person is educationally successful or professionally successful i'm trying to distinguish it to a person that is a financial literate that's why you see that some people that don't even have a degree though might have gone to a college or a secondary school but they don't really have a degree but they are successful in financial life and what is the essence of being in this life if you go to school spend um four five six eight years and you are still poor come on that's absurd that is why you need to educate yourself on how to be financial literate so that you distinguish yourself among the rest so that even if you graduate from school and you are able to see a collar job, you know, a white collar job that satisfies your interest, you can still be able to make a living. Why? Because you are financial literate. You'll be able to find your way even in the worst economy. All right, let's start. Number one, most of the things that actually give birth to lots you know more properties nowadays despite having lots of educated people around us is because the poor people buy liabilities hey listen to me the poor people buy liabilities why the rich people buy assets if you want to be financially fortified like you want to be knowledgeable you want to be fortified financially you need to first understand the money was you need to understand money rules money has lots of rules in which you can't even be taught in school the rich people use their money to buy assets which give birth to more income for them why the poor people or middle class people buy liabilities which eventually wears out or even put them in debt and most of this poor or uh, middle class people actually do this to impress people that don't even care about them to impress people that don't fucking care about their life just to feel among you see this is what we are saying the rich people buy assets and what are the examples of assets i am talking about number one example from my own findings is knowledge rich people invest in knowledge you know knowledge um about finances knowledge about how you can venture into lots of skills i mean high income skills that is guaranteed to times five or ten times your income but when you ask a poor or middle class person to invest in knowledge it'll be like kenny you know 
it sees it as a big deal because it, you know it, it will sound as if um, he's gonna waste his money or something because he doesn't see that knowledge as something that would yield something at the end of the day but the rich people are not like that rich people invest their money so that in the long run that knowledge you know that knowledge they have invested in in the past years would eventually start yielding something huge in the future why the poor people that have got liabilities you know they they, they they buy things that they don't actually need just to impress people those things they bought would eventually wear out at the long run and they go back to square one in short, an asset is something that puts money in the pocket, while liability is something that takes money out of your pockets, almost leaving you in debt. Another example of assets is investing in real estate, stocks, you know, skills. Another thing is that money management. The rich people don't really have problem about how to manage money, and that's what keeps them wealthy. All right, money management in the sense that you should be able to differentiate between the capital you used to invest in a business. And when I mean, when I talk about capital, I mean the exact amount of money you invested in the business at the beginning. Let's say fifty thousand naira. You started the business with fifty thousand naira. That is the capital. You must be able to differentiate between the capital you invested at the beginning and your profits and your total net worth even your personal savings you shouldn't mix all these things together more so when i when i talk about money management i mean poor people really have issue about how to manage money that is why you see a majority of people who for example someone who won uh, a bet let's say 20 million naira because you know this person has been poor for like ages decades and the poor mentality has really affected his thinking and how he would if he is not careful yeah if he is not careful he would spend that 20 million naira and you know <laughs> you know i haven't winning i haven't won a 20 million naira money you know literally you are rich at that moment i mean at that moment and if care is not taken this person that has won 20 million naira which we tag as a rich person then can eventually go back to square one that is go back to being totally poor because if you ask most people when you see five million naira, what are you going to do most people will say i mean most poor-minded people who say of course i'm gonna get a g-wagon of course i'm gonna get a classy shoe or classy bag classy designer wear i must take care of myself you know i can die tomorrow <laughs> that kind of thinking you know it really affects the way they manage the money and lots of people need to be educated with this because if not no matter how rich you are if you are unable to manage your money you are eventually going to go back to square one that is just the fact some people have been fortunate to encounter maybe um and here inheritance i've having inherited money properties um a lot of things like that that could have made them rich but because of their lack of management with money they spend the money recklessly without a proper written strategy on how to multiply that money you see money is just like a uh, human money is like money is very sensitive money is very sensitive in the sense that if you don't manage money properly it will end up leaving you money didn't leave human yeah money leave human because of lack of management money love a place where it can be properly managed multiplied you know be productive spending recklessly is a very very red flag for someone even a world someone that won't win 
a wealthy person to go back to being a poor person all right another thing is another crucial thing is mindset your mindset play a major role in who you become yes mindset is very very important because the mindset controls the emotion and it wires the way we think it wires the way we see things you know the way the rich people think is exactly different from the way poor people think the rich people always see opportunities in every problem the rich people see opportunities and solution in every problem so if you want to change your life and your situation you need to see things differently let's take uh, a getsman as an example a getsman that was given an opportunity to take over his boss position for just a day and he was commanded that you know he can actually do anything he wants since it's like an offer like he should make use of the opportunity as he sees it so this gate man actually went to his boss office and immediately he entered he was like whoa this is hasty like the first thing he did was to you know <laughs> oh my god this is so funny he actually took the file on his boss table and used one of the documents one part of the document to pour brown nuts and started eating it like he doesn't even know what the five was like billions of contracts he just used a sheet of that file to pour granite and squeeze it and chew it in the dustbin take cold water drunk it and slept off <laughs> can you imagine that but normally i don't mean they can think like the rich people the first thing that's supposed to come to his mind is how to take over one of the contract at that moment one of the contract that will have make him a millionaire you know because there are actually lots of contracts on the table that not that has not even been attended to that was just given um, to the company but because of the 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 way he thinks, the way he sees things that uh, oh, I the first thing I should do here is to hit and satisfy myself and collect this cool hasty and enjoy myself. And he just slept off. Before you know it, his time was off and alright, yeah, my story I'm not done with the story. Yeah, the, the boss the boss was asked to stay at the gates to replace the gates man. Now, as a learned person as a as a financial literate as a rich person that actually knows how to turn a problem into a into an opportunity because he sees the situation as a problem so he was to be at the gates until the offer ends and you know immediately he start thinking what what can he do i mean what can he do to what kind of opportunity can he create from this scenario? So this man actually hired someone, though he doesn't have money, like he, he was to behave like a poor person at that moment. He doesn't have money, but he hired someone. He told the person that, guy, I don't have any money to give you right now, but this is like a partnership uh, business in which you are going to use your own money so let's change the gate that is at this entrance let's automate this gate so that it will hit it will hit the stress of people coming out from outside that's trying to enter uh the 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 space you know so that they now plan that they should be collecting money immediately people are entering they will try i mean tell them that oh this is a new project and you know um you can just you know the, the way they do at the toll gate something like that and he actually generated a lot of money at that moment guys he generated a lot of money how many people would have thought of this like even if it were if it was you or it were you would you have think of such a thing don't let us deceive ourselves so from now please let's change our mindset and please uh some people still don't believe making money online is not possible in this 21st century if 
you are part of those people, I would advise you should change your mindset. Please, change your mindset. You know, mindsets affect a lot of things that even if you are given a big opportunity, you will feel like, oh, I can't make it. Like, even without starting, you will have concluded that you can't make it or you can't generate money from this thing all because your brother is not doing it or your sister is not doing it or you just feel like generally making money online is a scam which is a lie though truthfully there are a lot of scammers out there there are scamming people all over the places it's not only in nigeria that we have scammers don't deceive yourselves it's not only in nigeria we have in america we have in russia we have we are you know all these intelligent people that are trying to scam people i know that but Regardless of that, there are actually um, bountiful opportunities out there. There are lots of opportunities out there you can use to make money online. So please don't be deceived. If you if you opportunity to see an opportunity, okay, maybe you found an online business and you know just make a research on it and believe in yourself that you can do it, even if you have not started yet. Yes. There is this um, course that you get rich right from your mind before you get rich in reality. Yes, women being get rich right from their mind before they get rich in, in reality. It's just like I am now, like I'm already thinking how I can achieve um, a goal of five years, how I can achieve it in, <laughs> you know, six months. That means I'm thinking ahead. Even though I haven't started that thing, I'm already thinking of how to be successful at it something that's supposed to take three years or two years i'm already thinking of how to fast track it and make it in six months which is possible because i believe it is so that is the work of a mindset and in conclusion if you have a poor mindset if you have a poor mindset it will be very very hard to progress because you will always see every opportunity as as, as an obstacle you will always see opportunities as an obstacle your eyes will be so close that you won't be even be able to see the you won't even be able to differentiate between real opportunities and the fake ones so take note of that all right the rich people take risk a lot a lot of risk that is actually invisible to most people because it is only when we see the result of that risk that we clap our hands. We don't know what actually happened behind the scenes. You see, every billionaires out there, every billionaires out there have once risked their millions before they could get to that stage. Every billionaires out there have once risked their millions before they would become a billionaire. And every average person out there who just become a millionaire have once risked their thousands of money to get to where they are. So please stop seeing risk as a big deal. Risk is just part of life. Yeah, life is normal thing. It's like rule of life. Like it's like something you must do for you to attain something. It's like a ladder you must climb before you get to your destination risk is necessary you know uh yeah, this thing always drop people back like most of my students will say yeah i, I have risked a lot of things i have lost money in crypto i have been scammed i have been duped forget about it if i tell you my own experience you will actually pity me because see it's because Maybe because your friends are not open to you or people are not open to you. That's why you don't know what is actually happening out there. Those people that you are looking at and you feel like, oh, they are perfect. They are actually going through some things. I have been scammed before. I have been duped before. I have lost money in crypto before. But still, you know, I was, I was shocked at some point. Like, oh my God, my heart earned money. But I have to keep moving. I have to keep going so risk is actually necessary and because you have been scammed before don't let it draw you back it's normal we are human beings we are emotional immediately you encounter an obstacle or you were being duped of something you can take a break 
Taking a break is part of life. Taking a break doesn't mean you are handling things right. You just want to give yourself time to, you know, to balance. All right. So when you finally balance, try to stand back. Don't don't zero your mind that at this junction I am not risking a damn anymore. No, don't do that. Do not do that. You see, the moment a man stops trying. That is when failure sets in. Failure awaits every human being and is waiting for us to make mistakes. And immediately you make mistakes and you just conclude and just give up that what every opportunity out there is a scam. You see, you will end up being a jack or something like you won't even leave a spot you will be in one spot you'll be comfortable in your comfort zone and you won't be able to take risks so that you can move higher so that's another crucial point learn to take risk and normalize taking risk normalize taking risk yeah if i knew this earlier i would have taken a lot of risks lot of opportunities i've met back then because but because i was scared and you know it's it's actually draws me back but now i now it's part of my life taking risk is part of my life so so far i'm sure this thing is legit why would i the last very thing i would like to address is that be careful of who you take advice from it's not everything you see on social media that are real that is why i said before you venture into anything make sure it is legit and do your own research all right if you want to be a rich person you shouldn't take advice from someone that is poor even if it is your mother yeah the advice sounds insane but it is actually the fact do not take financial advice from anybody if the person is not living according to what he says do not take financial advice from them if they have poor you can only take financial advice from someone that is rich because the person is already living by its words because you can't tell me to take relationship advice from someone that is single because if your um, if your motivation if your advice actually work for crying out loud why are you single dude you can't be single and want to advise me on my relationship it can't work because no what kind of advice do you expect from them what kind of advice do you expect from someone that is poor advising you financially someone that is single advising you in a relationship someone that is not married yet that is advising you on how to live your married life a lot of things just to compare and contrast so that's why you should be careful of people you take advice from all right once again if you have not subscribed to this channel make sure you click on the subscription button so that you can get notified of my new financial videos and lots more and please like this video and don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section i'm awaiting your comments